This is one of the first games I ever created, and it serves as a dual purpose. It both shows you how to play text adventure games, as well as how do you make your own. So we're going to do exactly what it says. I made this when I was in high school, so trust me, it's pretty simple as simple goes. We gotta type think for the next tip. So, we'll type think. Good job. To create the game title, type the game's title in quotation marks. Here's an example. Game title by author. The story headline is the subtitle or subheading. Type wait for the next tip. So basically, this just walks you through on how to get started um, creating a game. And I'll show you at the end of the video an example of what your game will look like if you follow this example. The language that we are using is called Inform7, and as I'm sure you've noticed, it kind of looks like English. Time passes, so now you have your sharing text. Now let's create a first room. It's very simple. Type lobby is a room, type jump for the next tip. And there you have it, you've already created your first room, so you've already told the game what to name, what the name of the game is, you've told it who it's by, you've given it a, a subtitle, and now you've told the game, this is where we are starting. Now we're going to jump fruitlessly. Now let's add a room description. Right next to Lobby's room, type just your basic room description. Now type in I for another tip to check our inventory. We're not carrying anything because, well, when I created this, I didn't give us anything. So go ahead and run your game. So far, you have your starting text. Your player starts in the lobby, which has a description, and you know the following commands when playing interactive fiction. Think, wait, jump, and I for inventory. Now type look for the next tip. Notice that the game seemed to restart? No worries. All it did was restart the room's description. So basically, right now, we're still in the room start. And you kind of have a pretty small game. It's only one room. So let's expand this. So you're going to type all of this. That is going to expand it kind of like a house. So go ahead and pause the video, type this code, and then hit resume. At the top of your code, you right before lobby is a room, you're going to want to put Use brief room descriptions. Now what that has done is it changes it so that the description doesn't always show up every single time you enter it, just the first time. So let's go ahead and let's go up to the next room. And as you can see, even though we did go up, the game actually forced us back down into the first room. You can move your players around as need be. So, I might as well tell you the rest of the agenda since no doubt you wanted to know anyway. I will instruct you on giving your players and rooms inventories, then touch base on scenery. After that, we'll discuss scenes, narration, and non-playable characters. If you stay after that, I'll show you what I think to be a very neat trick. Now, I've opened a new sliding door to the north. Let's go into the programming room. You deserve it. Okay, now I guess I have to hurry it up a bit. Now to give you player inventory, type the player's carrying key. Now what type of key that is, that's up to you. To put an object in room, say the lantern is in the basement. Don't forget, just like you did for your rooms, you're going to want to add descriptions to your objects. 
and you can also examine objects, take objects, and drop objects. Scenery is uh, basically what it what it sounds like. Scenery. So what is the scene? No, no, no. I did not mean like a movie or a novel. In Inform 7, a scene is simply an event. Here is a basic example of syntax. Laughing is a scene. When laughing begins, type something to say or an event that happens. When laughing ends, type something to say or an event that happens. Laughing ends when the time since laughing began is 5 minutes. That That's just an example of a scene. Obviously, it's not a very well written scene, so please do better when you make yours. Hey look, there's a guy in a book here. You look absolutely fantabulous. Oh, and before I forget, to make an NBC type in your code, type guide is a man. Oh, and also by doing that, you'll place me in your game, by which I hope you don't remove me. To make me move around your new game, and in future games as well if you put me in, type table of guides movement, then add room starting with the room you want to start the game in. Well, this ends the session, unless you choose to wait and hear my last trick of the trade. So before I show you the trick of the trade real quick, in case you were wondering what is the template going to look like, I'm just going to show it to you real quick. Hey look, we found the guide again. And he has a lantern. I think the guy is really excited to meet you guys. Let's see what he has to say. As promised, take us a call command you can experiment with. Now the player is in, insert room name. Remember, I was just your guide. Thank you for allowing me just a simple NPC to help you as you become an interactive fiction player and programmer. That's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time. I'll have more tutorials on Inform 7 later.